guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, today we are gonna talk about the Dermaflash and the Dermapore. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. And if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any video. All right, so this is gonna be a super fast video. I will show you how I use the Dermaflash. I've had the Dermaflash for over a year. And then I will show you how I use the Dermapore and let you know my thoughts on both. Let's jump in. I have used and shown the Dermaflash before. Um, what makes this different is I haven't used it in five months. So when I was in the hospital, you know, if you've been watching my videos, my skin care regimen consisted of literally washing my face with the micellar water, using the Colleen Rothschild number nine oil for super hydration, and then using the Tatcha lip mask. That was it. So there was no new face, there was nothing, nothing, no curology, nothing which allowed me those three months that I did not do any real skincare or anti-aging, it allows me now to do it and to show you um, truly the before and afters. So um, in the case of the Dermaflash, for those of you that don't know what it is, it is a sort of like a microblading device. So it is going to uh, go ahead and get rid of all that peach fuzz and the dead skin cells and give a very beautiful canvas for your face to utilize. So I'm gonna put video here so that you can see after five months of not using it, how much peach fuzz there is. It's no more than I originally started with. I know that's one of the questions you guys have. Does it get you know rough? Like does the hair grow in coarser? No. Does it grow in more? No. It, what you had is what you get. You're just shaving um, and exfoliating at the same time. So I love this device. Very simple to use. In fact, this would have been in my probably skincare favorites um, if it wasn't for the fact that it's truly not skincare. The, do you have to have this? No. But does it absolutely help with um, once you're finished, you have such a good canvas to put those serums on. I typically do it at night, although I'm, the video I'm showing you it today, but normally I put it on at night or do it at night and then I can really put the good serums and moisturizers on and then it just has a great canvas without dead skin cells and hair blocking all that good stuff going in. So it's really simple to use. There's literally an on off. Um, there are two speeds um, and then uh, you just buy the refillable cartridges. They are a one time deal. That makes sure that there's no contamination or anything. It's just you use it once and then you toss it out. So this little one right here, you just pop it and the cartridge will pop out. You can see there, and you saw me put it in. It's very easy and it has a little charging base. Just sits like this. Awesome, love it. As far as the Dermapore, because I love Dermaflash so much, I said, well, let's try the Dermapore and see what that's all about. So I have some video of my using it and this is another very simple device to use. Um, it looks very similar. So you basically come with a USB and a charging port. Uh, it has a little top here, and then basically it looks like a spatula, if you will. And the way that you use it is there is on, and that is to go ahead and extract whiteheads, blackheads, things of that nature. And then the second one is more pulsating, and that's where you turn it around and let it uh, sink in the serum. So it's super easy to use. Now, let me just tell you my thoughts. Well, you know my thoughts on the Dermaflash. I've used it, I've done videos, I love it. It's definitely a favorite. I had high hopes that the Dermapore would be so great, just like the Dermaflash. It's not. I find absolutely no use for this whatsoever. Now here's the thing, because I always like to think positive. Does it get out little whiteheads? Here's the issue. I don't have a lot of blackheads or whiteheads um, in my skin. It's just not something that I suffer from. But occasionally I'll get them on my nose. So does it get it out? Yes, um, but it's pretty rough on the skin. You can see just use, you when I used it this morning, how red it got just after a few seconds. Um, but, but I do have sensitive skin. Um, 
but it's just really unless you unless you suffer from like a lot of white heads and a lot of black heads then I don't see a reason for this and as far as using it like for the serum it no mm -mm, it's just I would rather much ra I would much rather take a jade roller or the oh what is the other roller it's not in I'll put it here I'm gonna have to pop in a picture because it's actually in my in the bathroom where I put my serums on I would much rather use those to infuse the serum into my skin I think that they work perfectly fine and uh, for the price of this no because this is retails for around $89 um, so definitely stick with the derma flash uh, love that Dermapore, not so much. So that's it for my thoughts on the Dermaflash and the Dermapore. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.